Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. Now today I am making my very first video on the real life Formula 1 2022 season and we're finally here. Today we're doing another tier list but today's video is going to be ranking all of the 2022 car liveries and basically just seeing what my opinions are and we're going to go from uh, every single car uh, from obviously what I think is the best to the worst. So let's get into it um straight away we're gonna waste no time getting into this so we're gonna go with alfa romeo for the first car and obviously alfa was the first one to uh, sorry the last one to launch um literally only a few days ago um i think there's a little bit too much red going on if um if i'm being honest um i'm not a f massive fan i definitely prefer last year's livery um, but it's not an awful livery, um, it has to be said. So I'm probably going to put it in B because I think it's just an average livery. Like I said, I think the last one last year was a lot better, but you know, you can't, you can't win them all. But yeah, it's, it's okay. Like I said, I think it could have probably done with a bit, bit more white somewhere in the livery. But over the, other than that, it's quite a nice looking car and it looks quite nice down on track as well. And I love the uh, wheel covers they've got on the Alpha as well. Um, obviously, the wheel covers are new for this year as well. So, yeah, very nice from the Alpha Romeo on that part of the design. Uh, next up is the Ferrari. Now, this is probably the best looking car uh, on the grid, uh, if I'm being honest. I think everyone I've seen reacting to this car had an orgasm over it basically so uh we're gonna put it in s rank it's gonna go straight up into the top um yeah ferrari have had a very odd look to their cars over the last few years especially last year with the green and then they had that burgundy red at the back that little section at the back which didn't really make much sense obviously it was there i think that was their special livery they used at the tuscan grand prix in like 2020 but yeah, a bit of a odd design, but this this year's car, just the black and the red, goes so nicely together. And even the actual look of the actual aerodynamics of the Ferrari as well is very, very slick looking. And it's going to be really interesting to see uh, where they uh, stand in in the grid. Obviously, we've already had pre-season testing. Oh, well, shakedown, should I say. Uh, testing's not until the 10th of uh, March, which I am actually recording this on the 2nd of March, so we're not too far away from the test, but nevertheless, the Ferrari looking very, very nice in 2022. Uh, the Alpine, now, this is a very, very tricky one, and I've seen a lot of mixed opinions about this. Personally, I don't like it from the side angle. I think from the front angle it looks nice. It's a nice mixture of pink and a lot of blue, which is what the Alpine obviously was last year. But from the side angle you just got this weird section of pink and then the rear wings all pink and then the front wings pink. Like there's not enough consistency of the design. It's this you just pink here, pink here, pink here. And it looks like two liveries in one basically. I think uh, Tommy said that in WTF1. Um, I don't know where to put it though because it's it's not terrible but it's not great. I think I might have to put it in C if I'm honest. It's not, it's definitely the weirdest livery I think we've got on this grid but yeah I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in C like I said I might come back to that and change that but we'll wait and see. Next up is Alpha Tauri. Now the Alpha Tauri looked phenomenal last year and even in 2020 actually ever since they came into the sport and took over Toro Rosso they've had some really nice liveries this one though I think is probably the best one they've had they've got a really nice um bold bold lettering with the Alphatari on the side pod a uh, nice um logo on the engine cover as well and I think it's probably their best livery they've had so far but I wouldn't say it goes in S rank I think I'm gonna have to put it in A just because of the simple fact of it's not changed an awful lot compared to the last compared to last year, but nevertheless, I still absolutely love delivery. But for me, it goes in A, not quite in S rank. Now we've got the Aston Martin. Now this was another one that people were like, "Oh my God, this car is amazing!" And last year's Aston Martin, I think it was nice. I did, I did, I did like the dark green, the racing green. But this year's car just stands out so much, and I love how they've used some of the lime green to highlight some of the uh, lines on the car and some of the text as well. It looks phenomenal. So. Once again, that's got to go in S rank as well. I don't think it goes above the Ferrari. I think the Ferrari is definitely the best car on the grid. But 
but yeah, Aston Martin definitely going with the Ferrari. Now, next up is McLaren. Another very interesting one with the colour choice. Um, obviously, they've been, you know, blue and orange for about the last few years now, but the black that they've started to use for this livery I think is really nice, but I think the way they've used it isn't that great. Um, I think I don't like how the blue sort of comes down the side pod and makes that sort of a uh, little just orange part on the side pod, a bit like the Alpine. Um, I just don't really like that sort of design. I think they could have been a little bit more consistent with the blue, just going straight down the car and just leaving this bit black or just orange. But yeah, a bit of a mix up of colours, but I do like the livery. It looks nice out on track and it is quite bold, I would say. So for me, I'm going to put it in B. I think it goes in the middle alongside the Alfa Romeo. Um, and yeah, um, it'll probably grow on me throughout the year. Um, I, no I normally tend to sort of just get used to all the cars and stuff. The Alpine, I think, is definitely going to take the most um, getting used to. But nevertheless, um, I think the McLaren is sort of standard in this sort of uh, tier list. Uh, next up is the Haas. Now, um, obviously, with what's going on in Russia at the moment um, and Ukraine and stuff, they've had to actually get rid of their uh, Russian sponsor. Uh, I can't remember the name of the uh, sponsor that they use, but it's their main one. And they've had to completely remove it from the car for obvious reasons. So, uh, yeah, for that reason, I think I was going to put it in D anyway because it hadn't changed an awful lot compared to last season. But now it's literally just a plain white livery with the Haas logo on the side. And that's, that's pretty much it. So, so yeah, not an awful, not an awful lot to say about Haas, unfortunately. Hopefully, their car is a little bit better uh, compared to last season. Obviously, they scrapped last season completely, but the livery, unfortunately, is definitely a no a no go. Next up, Mercedes. Then um, finally, gone back to silver. There are the silver arrows. Um, I did love the black Mercedes over the last two years. It was a fantastic looking car. Uh, well. I think 2020 was better than 2021, but nevertheless, this car is nice. I really, really like this car. Um, I like how they've sorted out the engine cover with the whole like arrow thing that they've got going on. They've they've made it a lot more tidier and a lot bigger as well, so there's not much going on compared to the 2020 season where they had loads going on. Um, this one is a lot cleaner. Um, I just like the, the tropical blue greeny uh, one they use for obviously the Pat uh, Patronus uh, logo. Um, and obviously the black as well. They've kept some black on there, which I like a lot. So yeah, for me, I think it's got to go in S rank, um, but not above the Ferrari and the Aston Martin, but a very nice looking car from Mercedes. Um, and like I said, it's yeah, just got a nice um, mixture of all the different colours. And like I said, I like how they've gone back to the main silver colour, um, which is what Mercedes should be. Uh, next up is Red Bull then. So Red Bull haven't awfully changed a lot. And I am going to put it in B. Um, I think the only thing that's really changed on the car is the sponsor that they've got, the new sponsor that they've got. Um, but apart from that, the Red Bull has pretty much been the same since 2016. It's um, not changed an awful lot at all. So, yeah, that's going to just go, just go standard in the middle for me because um, I do love the Red Bull. I think everyone loves it. But just one day, can they please just do something with it like i know they've had the special livery tests over the last few years but they've never kept it and i think keeping one of those liveries was a great move by red bull so i think they should hopefully for 2023 you never know they might change it to one of their testing liveries or just do something with it just even make the yellow go all the way across here or you know make the the red bull cover the whole tire back of the car like just change something because it's been the same for about Six plus years, I don't know, but yeah, nevertheless, um, it's quite a standard livery, not changed an awful lot, but I still do love it, so that's why it's going to go in the middle. And finally, the Williams. Now, again, this is a very tricky one as well. Williams have um, notoriously in the past, you know, they've been uh, blue, yellow, white, um, but this one is just a bit boring, I think. I love the back of the design on the engine cover, I think that's really nice, but... Apart from that, there's not a really awful lot going with it. I think it does look better out on track. They, when it first launched with the render pictures, it looked really, really nice. But there were some pictures, because it was because the pictures and the background were so dark, you, you couldn't really see the car very well. Um, but it's not a fantastic livery. Like I said, I think if they kept the design, keep kept keep going down. I can't even talk. If they kept the back of the car design, keep 
I can't speak. If they kept the back part of design consistently down the car, I think that would have been a, a lot nicer. But unfortunately, um, they didn't do that. Um, so yeah, uh, for me, I think it's going to go in B. Like I said, I think it definitely looks better out on track than it does in the pictures. Um, but yeah, yeah, not a, not a fantastic livery. I think Williams have definitely done better. Um, I'm just trying to think if I want to change anything here. I think the Alpine is going to stay where it is. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think, uh, do I move the Mercedes down a bit and put it ahead of the Alpha Tauri? Because I think the Mercedes is nice. Like I said, I think it's got a nice consistency and I like the design they've done with the silver arrows and they've got the Nikki, uh, Nikki Lauda red uh, one just underneath the... Um, red uh, engine cover at the top there uh, which is a really nice touch again um but yeah no i think i'm going to put it down to an a the mercedes actually just to just because i don't think it's on quite on par with these two but but yeah there we go the guys that has been my f1 at 2022 livery rank um hope you enjoyed it let me know if you would change any of these uh let me know in the comment section what you think is the best livery and what is the worst livery of this season but yeah i cannot wait we are literally like days away now before pre-season pre -season, actual pre-season testing and um, we've also got drive to survive to look forward to as well uh, and yeah so so many things going to be happening in 2022 of march so let's go bring it on formula one is nearly back guys but if you have enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new as well and i'll see you all again in the next one guys take care